dear student today i will discuss about confronting marginalization adivasis dalits muslims and women come under marginal groups these groups experience inequality and discrimination at every level in society as this hurt then they want to come out of this they often challenge existing inequalities they argue that simply by being citizens of a democratic country they process equal rights that must be respected many of them look up to the constitution to address their concerns the constitution provides fundamental rights which are available to all indian equally including the marginalized groups as far as the marginalized are concerned they have drawn on these rights in two ways first by insisting on their fundamental rights they have forced the government to recognize the injustice done to them second they have insisted that the government enforce these law in some instance the struggles of the marginalized have influenced the government to frame new laws in keeping with the spirit of the fundamental rights untouchability has been abolished this means that no one can henceforth prevent dalits from educating themselves entering temples using public facilities article 15 of the constitution notes that no citizen of india shall be discriminated against on the basis of religion race caste sex or place of birth there are specific laws and policies for the marginalized groups in our country the government sets up a committee or undertakes a survey and then makes an effort to promote such policies in order to give opportunities to a specific groups the government tries to promote social justice by providing for free or subsidized hostels for students of dalit and adivasi communities the government reservation policy is a very significant effort to end inequity in the system other minority groups have drawn on the fundamental rights section of our constitution they have particularly drawn upon the right to freedom of religion and cultural and educational rights in the case of cultural and educational rights distinct cultural and religious groups like the muslims and parsis have the right to be the guardians of the content of their culture as well as 
द राइट टू मेक डिसीजन्स ऑन हाउ बेस्ट दिस कंटेंट इज टू बी प्रिजर्व बोथ स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट्स क्रिएट स्पेसिफिक स्कीम्स फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इन ट्राइबल एरियाज और इन एरियाज दैट हैव हाई दलित पॉपुलेशन फॉर इंस्टेंस द गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइड्स फॉर फ्री और सब्सिडाइज हॉस्टल्स फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ दलित एंड आदिवासी कम्युनिटीज सो दैट दे कैन अवेल ऑफ एजुकेशन फैसिलिटीज दैट आर नॉट बी अवेलेबल इन देयर लोकलिटीज गवर्नमेंट्स रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी इज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट वे टू प्रमोट सोशल जस्टिस एमंग दलित एंड आदिवासीज अंडर दिस पॉलिसीज सीट्स आर रिजर्व इन एजुकेशन एंड गवर्नमेंट इम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर देम हाउ द रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी वर्क गवर्नमेंट्स एक्रॉस द कंट्री हैव देयर ओन लिस्ट ऑफ शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स and backwards that most backward caste the central government to has its list a students applying to educational institutions and those applying for posts in government are expected to furnish proof of their caste and tribe certificates if a particular dalit caste or a certain tribe is on the government list then a candidate from that caste or tribe can avail of the benefit of reservation for admission to colleges especially to institutes of professional education such as medical college governments define a set of cut off marks this mean that not all dalit and tribal candidates can qualify for admission but only those who have done reasonably well and secured marks above the cut off point governments also offer special scholarships for these students